Hey, it's Sam, and I'm making this quick video explaining the six most important Vedic astrology shifts happening in October 2022. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell on YouTube to get notified of new videos and live streams. Also, leave a comment, share it with others on Facebook, Twitter, or other social media platforms. So until October 27th, we have Mercury exalted in Virgo. Now this is going to bring intelligence, discrimination, and a clear story. Mercury has been in Virgo for quite a while. As you can see, the next um, note here, October 3rd, Mercury actually turns direct after having been retrograde. So in many ways, October 2022 is going to be really quite dominated by a powerful Mercury. He's been in... Um, retrograde but he's been in his sign of exaltation so again he's going to be in Virgo pretty much the whole month At the very end October 27th he goes into Libra but this really infuses October 2022 with a lot of intelligence discrimination getting that story straight as I said when Mercury went retrograde in Virgo it was a time to reflect on the details get that story straight that you're telling yourself you know, we all have this story in our head about what life means. Oh, this means that. It means that. What does everything mean? We have a story about our life, about different things, story of relationships, story of career, story of who we really are, story of politics, the whole thing. Is the story really clear? Is it accurate? Well, you've had the story kind of scrambled with Mercury going retrograde. He's going to be moving forward on October 3rd, but he's going to be in Virgo where he's exalted for the entire month. On October 16th, Mars enters Gemini, getting ready for his retrograde cycle. So Mars starts to slow down here, but it's going to bring some frustration because when Mars is in Gemini, you know, it's a kind of a intellectual sign and Mars is really not very intellectual. He's about action, do this, do that, black and white thinking, more about kind of frustrations and wanting to do something about the things that frustrate us. Again, when he's in Gemini, this becomes quite intellectual again and we can get into verbal battles because Gemini is very verbal rather than taking on challenges through our actions and being disciplined and focused. Um, so you want to be careful about that. Certainly Mars in Gemini is the sort of archetype of arguing. So be careful about this. Um, and he's going to start to slow down before he goes retrograde. Again, there's a lot of retrograde energy in the sky right now. You may have noticed I've been doing quite a lot with retrograde planets. I'm even teaching a master course on retrograde planets. This is another big one. Again, Mercury just turned direct after going retrograde, and then Mars is going to go into Gemini and really slow down. It's called stationary retrograde on October 16th in the middle of the month getting ready to go retrograde so be careful about frustration and getting into verbal battles instead stay focused and disciplined on October 19th both the Sun and Venus will be in Libra the Sun goes in a couple days earlier but by the time we have October 19th both the Sun and Venus are in Libra which is really gonna bring the awareness and the and the capacity to really share your power with others but making sure to honor your own vision and purpose. The sun is actually debilitated in Libra because it's where we can tend to give over our vision and our life purpose to others. Oh, it's okay with you if I'm powerful, right? It's not going to offend you too much if I'm, you know, powerful and shining bright. This hurts that quality within you that's related to the sun, which is about saying, no, this is this is what lights me up and you know if 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 I'm not being lit up by things, then I'm not going to be a very good partner anyway. So sharing our power with others is really what this is about. And since Venus comes into Libra at that time on October 19th, um, we'll have both the Sun and Venus in Libra for quite a while, for pretty much the rest of the month. So that's going to bring together not only that capacity to want to share our power with others but to do it in a way where we also honor our own vision. October 23rd we have another retrograde shift here. Saturn has been retrograde since like March or April. He's going to start moving forward. Actually he has 
stationary direct motion, which means he pretty much stops in the sky and then will start to move forward. That's at the end of October on October 23rd. Now this is really important because it shows where now we're going to be moving forward with a lot of these long-term plans that we've been reflecting on since spring. Again, Saturn is retrograde almost half the time. So we've been reflecting on our deep commitments, at least we should have been, um, and then after this deep reflection, now Saturn is going to start moving forward again, and we can recalibrate our commitments and go deeper into those things that are worth our time. One of the problems in life is that we only get so much time, and we can't focus it on everything. So when Saturn goes retrograde, we reflect on how important everything is, and how much time things need, and the things that we can't give enough time to, we have to let go of. Um, and so that's been what Saturn retrograde cycle has been. After October 23rd, Saturn starts moving forward and we should be more clear about what we can really concentrate and focus on. Now since it's happening in Capricorn, the sign where Saturn is ruling, it's even more infused with intelligence and wisdom. October 25th, we have solar eclipse in Libra. Of course, I'm going to do a longer video about this, but the solar eclipse in Libra is showing where the south node is eclipsing the sun and it's really about perceiving the connection we have with others and how to share you know the thing i just mentioned about the sun and venus and libra that's very important but it's it's joined the south node so the south node tends to really focus and drill down into whatever is going on there so it's going to really try to extract the essence of what it is to share what it is to have a good agreement where both parties are honored and respected what it is to be powerful individual within an agreement how much do we let go of how much do we share so this eclipse the solar eclipse in libra is really going to revolve around a lot of these things of course these are themes that have to do with relationships not just romantic relationships but friendships business partnerships and agreements where you have negotiated a settlement where it's like okay you get this and I get this I pay you this money for you to do this thing and we rethink those things whether or not they're fair or not so there could be a lot of again refocusing and recalibration around the end of October as we get closer to that solar eclipse in Libra so as you can see a lot of energy around Virgo Libra um, also again all this Mercury energy, Mercury in Virgo for the entire month, very powerful, but we also have Mars going into Gemini, which is ruled by um, Mercury, and then we also have this, this shift from Virgo into Libra around the middle of the month and even culminating with an eclipse at the end of the month. So if you want to get daily forecasts and see every day mapped out very clearly based on the Indian Panchanga where we analyze the moon sign, the moon nakshatra, the moon tithi or lunar day, um, as well as the lord of the day. You can check that out. You also can get eight hours of free classes when you register. It's actually only a 50 cent trial for 14 days and you can check that out. The astrology training lab is very popular and you can also avail yourself of that. But either way, I hope you have a great October 2022.